the master master to another episode of the master's playground i am your host chrissy stereo hi loves yeah right on man what an amazing shift is occurring as of late don't you think a little more confidence a little more squeeze a little more pressure for the diamond to form you know no pressure no diamond so You know, as we're moving forward with these new doors that are opening for us, you know, this ride that we've been on for three years now, it's all coming to a culmination. And it's this giant buildup, you know? And every time we think, okay, this is it, this is it. Oh, wait, the story continues, (laughs) right? And everything gets a little bit more profound as we keep moving forward, a little bit more rich, in the experience. So I have been inspired to share something. Everyone is shifting into a new reality. That is true, right? The reality of a new frequency. And so what ends up happening is that we are being asked to manifest. Thus, tonight's episode, Manifestation Indeed. So before we get started, let me take a moment to tune in to the teacher within. Honor our ancestors, connect with the divine. Placing our hands into prayer position in front of our heart chakras. Take a breath in, exhale, and on the next breath we'll begin. Om. Manifestation indeed. In this episode, we're going to embrace co-creation in action. So how do we materialize? Well, start by asking yourself, what matters? How much attention do you put into things that matter? Discernment. Do you focus on things that bother you? Preoccupied with that, does it matter? Does it really matter? All right, so we are shifting into a whole new paradigm, the Aquarian age. And with that, we are letting go of old structures, old belief systems, limited you know, that limits our infinite potential, that limits our spirit, that limits everything by engulfing us in fear. And we cling on to it like monkeys in the jungle. (laughs) Yeah, so it's time to clear that up because this is manifestation. It's about getting clear. What do you choose to experience more of in this life? Is it true love? Independence? 
financial wealth. Not just as, as an idea, right? Not just as an idea, but really starting to choose what you want more of in your experience while you're here on planet Earth. In our society, we have been told, you know, and especially for those of us that are consciously and actively working with varied spiritual tools, such as tapping of affirmations, the secret, all of this stuff, right? So we have all this great information in the world, right? That we turn to, especially during these amazing times. However, there's a cautionary bit with the tools that has not been presented to us. Right. So many of us are functioning and actually believe that, you know, if we just think, all right, man, you know, I'm going to be skinny right on. Or, you know, I'm totally rich. End of story. I'm totally rich. Right. Successful, whatever, whatever mantra we're holding on to. Right. Most of us believe that it will happen if we just think it. Right. A concept where I'm going to tell my mind this. It's a manifestation technique. I'm working on it. Yes. I believe I could fly. <laughs> yeah. Then at the same time, our physical action isn't really complementing our thought pattern. Right? Instead, we're sort of uh, smoking from the dream pipe. <sighs> right on. I'm totally rich in this world, man. Right? But in actuality, manifestation is not only our thoughts, but it's our deeds as well. I'm going to feel good about myself. I'm going to do what skinny people do, rich people do, successful, whatever it is, whatever it is that we're striving or better yet, knowing that we are doing that so that it is all true. Because whenever there's duality, right? If we just have our thoughts in it, but not our physical actions, that's duality. There's a disconnect. There's a separateness. And when there's duality, there is suffering. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and start with our first song. And yes, thank you so much for tuning into The Master's Playground. Again, my name is Chrissy Stereo. And we're rolling up our sleeves and about to get serious with manifesting that which we're being called to during these times. So enjoy. Much love.
beautiful. Welcome back to the Master's Playground. I am your host, Chris Stereo. Yes, hi. We are talking about manifestation, you guys. In this world, we have to contend with our own fears. And we manage it on a daily basis. Sometimes, not successfully. Sometimes, the unconscious and subconscious takes over. lessons. Other times we feel very self-empowered, confident, in flow, right? So how does that apply? How do we get in flow with manifesting in life? We're obviously being dragged from one camp and put into another. That is true. Many people go through anxiety. A lot of people are like, oh my God, what's happening? Right? Can't take all this noise anymore. That is because with the shift of the paradigm, what's happening is that we're being pulled into a whole new frequency. Right? So our structures are what we understand to be true is starting to like crumble. Anything that is false and stuck within the old paradigm. We are in the middle of this magnetic change, right? So back to manifestation, right? So how do we manifest as we're totally taking this most profound carpet ride of our lives. So with abundance and manifestation, where do we start? Well, you start with what you need. Nothing else, just what you need. Rent, groceries, dentist bill, whatever it is. Gifting back to those who have gifted to you. That's one way of looking at creditors, right? Credit. It's a gift from the universe helping you along. So changing the mentality of going, I'm gifting back. So you start with what it is that you need. And that allows you When you start focusing just on that, that allows you to get in flow. That allows you to align and affirm that what you need will arrive. Ask and you shall receive. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, hey man, you know, all I need is a million dollars and then I'm not gonna have to deal with any of this, all right? That's all I need, that's it. I wouldn't have to worry about this or that. It'll take care of all my problems, man. You know? Well, you came into this world to have an experience. Your soul came into this world to have an experience. Not to, you know, you didn't come into this world just to sit back and be removed from life. The life that you have been given. So life will definitely play out one way way or the other. Right? You will be called. And will have to choose how much you're going to be involved. That is responsibility. The universe responds to the to your thoughts, what you're putting out. Right? You will have messages come your way. However, it is our ability to respond to the universe in kind 
and even with the ability to raise the frequency that matters. I could choose a higher response, the ability to respond with my mind, with my actions. And then noting in your mind, oh wait, that's fear along the way. All things that we do are indeed. Deeds themselves lend themselves to a shift to that which we choose. Everybody has that power. So with that, enjoy your next song. Beautiful. Welcome back to the Master's Playground. My name is Chrissy Stereo. That was Bauhaus Kick in the Eye. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the first song was Babes on Fire by Brian Eno. All right, so in this episode, we're talking about manifestation, right? Because it's so vital, you know? Not only are we waking up, you know, from these, um, the, all this programming that we've gone through in our lives, all the self-imposed, like, compensation, you know, the DNA that, you know, we came into this world with. 
you know. All of that, all of that is getting restructured now. All of it, provided that you're consciously involved, provided that you do the work. Otherwise, you know, it lingers and defines. Right. And I've been highlighting how the story of what we're going through right now. And this is not, you know, projection. This is like, tune in, man. This is what's happening in the world right now. You know, every resource is highlighting the profound experience that started 2012. It's why we signed up to be in this life for this ride. We came into this world to share our gifts to share whatever it is that we can do to contribute, right? But not everyone is realizing that because of all these conditions and all these fears and all this, you know, the programming and the whole thing. When you don't know, you don't know. So you end up compensating. You might find yourself in a a position, you know, uh, working at a job that you don't love. You might find yourself, you know, under the command of your family members, right? Or... You know, it could be anything. It could be anything, right? So the process of waking up is one where we have to consciously choose it. It doesn't just come. The concept of everything of working with spirit, you guys, the whole the whole party train, right? what it's all about is that you show up repeatedly, devotionally, And then what happens is magic. And that applies to everything, our dreams, into reality. Right. So we've been been talking about co-creation and not getting stuck in doubt, fear, procrastination, delay, or more of a wishful mentality. Oh, it's coming. (laughs) Kumbaya, right on. And then sitting back and waiting for it, right? Thinking that is what the law of attraction is all about. See, the thing is, is that we on this earth, right? Planet Earth. It's all here. We are in in an illusionary reality, right? And within this illusionary reality, we have to contend with time and space. So we can use our spirit, our intention, our upper chakras to communicate, transmit, and project into the universe. That's great, right? That's mind over matter, right on, cool, right? But the thing is, we are in this reality within this time and space. So this is where action and keeping the body and the movement of the body moving towards our goal. And the heart has to be involved, 100%. Excitement. You have to be excited. And these are things that, you know, I mean, it's no uh, ancient secret that over the course of the last two years, you know, I've been deep, 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 deep. Oh my God, scuba gear required deep into understanding true wisdom, spiritual wisdom beyond you know, just on a whole new level, man, you know? And so surrounding myself with masters, doing the work, the whole thing. And there's certain things that, you know, are proving to be true. You know, this is a matrix that we're in, right? And we are the creators. We are the ones who paint our reality. Right? 
So in order to manifest our dreams, we have to be responsible for everything that we're creating, everything that we're attracting, everything that we're emoting. And what I found to, to be the most effective of the routes that one can have Maintaining that singular point with the divine. Increasing that, making that your love. And then just going this, that, you know, putting in into the mix where it is that you're being called and then surrendering. So that means that we have to be consistent we have to be committed. When it comes to your dream, let's just pretend for a second, right? Let's say you have this great dream, right? And it requires a lot of time and effort. And you know that, you know, there's a, there's a mountain of work to potentially do, right? So you might find yourself going off into a corner and just, okay, I know it's supposed to happen. I don't really know how, but I know it's supposed to happen. And then you might, you know, go and play, play with, with the idea a little bit and start to tickle at it and then get consumed with fear. And then forget altogether, throw in a lot of excuses. And then maybe, just maybe you'll come back to it every so often. It's about the consistency and the commitment. It's about doing it whether or not you feel it at any given moment. We have to continually make choices in our lives to support that which we desire. Otherwise, guess what? It's not gonna happen because you're not co-creating. It's not gonna happen now and it's not gonna happen in this reality without it. So all of this wishful thinking bullshit that's out there, you know, it's not gonna manifest anything except the, the separation, the duality. It's about the work. It's about the devotion. It's about staying in the energy over a period of time and space. We work with time, space, and distance. And of course, we have the fourth component, which is spirit, definitely, you know, the fourth dimension. But we have to be hands-on when we create in our physical reality. And when we do that, when we're completely devoted to our, our soul's work, constantly, devotionally committed to keep working, keep at it. Even when you just want to order a pizza and watch that like cheesy movie, right? Even in those moments where you just want to just distract yourself because you can't take the pain anymore. The pain of what's my purpose, what's life, you know, because everyone, you know, stop and really check pulses, man. Everyone's freaked the hell out. It's official. It's true, man. It's true, you know, but the more consistent you arrive for yourself, your soul, the more you connect with the divine, the more that you honor the divine within and the divine in the eyes of the, the other, reflected back to you. That is when the illusion 
of suffering dissipates because duality is no longer a factor because you are one so you do all the work right so I'll give you a little insight little insight into to you know just how I do it and take from it whatever inspires you every day getting up I meditate and connect with the divine I go through my rituals of course because I'm very devotional it's my experience of where I allow I allow the divine to talk to me rather than in prayer of where I'm talking to the divine right Then I set off in my day and go and achieve whatever responsibilities are before me. Then I come home, book clients, talk to them, work on, you know, the video productions, work on my album, work on this, work on that. Just keep working, putting it out there. Why? Because that is why my soul is here. I keep showing up. And then insert a weird fetal position moment of like, oh my God, I feel so tender. Uh, uh. Get up, keep meditating, keep working, keep at it, keep going. Do not allow yourself to become a victim to your own sabotaging techniques. And remember, the one thing that I definitely have noticed in this devotional you know, experience of mine You know, everyone that I witness in my experience, and you know, I'm not going to make this all about me, and I'm, you know, all right, but I'm just sharing, right? It's about like really noting the divine in the other person, having compassion when they are not able to rise to the challenge within themselves that's being projected out. The grumble. So much fun being an empath, man. I pick everything up. It's crazy. Right? So as we do the work, as we consistently and devotionally keep at it, that's when the divine takes over. And you may not have all the answers. And you may not know how to get from point A to point B, except to keep, you know, whatever it is that your dream is, keep working at it every day and then allow the story to unfold before you maintaining your connection with the divine maintaining that as your focal point especially when doubt fear confusion and your own resistance gets in the way That is co-creation. I'm going to play an amazing song. And obviously, I don't know if you guys are feeling the vibes that I'm putting out this evening. But hey, man, I am kind of, I'm, I'm returning to some like amazing, an amazing genre. As of late. And this one. Okay, so let me preface it by saying that um, every band is my favorite band, right? (laughs) You know, because I love every band. It's crazy. Um, But this particular song I haven't heard in years, and I rediscovered it just uh, the other day. She's a little lengthy, but I invite you to take the journey. Just go there, man. You know, like in the 70s, put on the headphones, lay back, and just take the ride. Enjoy.
Right on. This Mortal Coil. One of the most amazing 80s bands ever. Right? Like I said, I love every band. Hold up. I was pulling up a retro cure moment there on accident. Which isn't really an accident when you really, you know, look at it. So right on, you guys. We've been talking about manifestation. You know, it's about being conscious at this point. It really is. You know, the old techniques, they just cause suffering. They really do. You know, sure, we're all on a path of learning and growing and we have to find out one way or the other. But it's all going to the same place. Either you're, you're, you know, going to jump on board and do the work or, you know, it's going to be more of a bumpy ride. Right? So when it comes to manifestation, it's not about just sort of sitting back and going, yeah, you know, I believe that I'm, you know, insert whatever dream. And I just know it's going to happen. I just know it's going to happen, right? But there you are kicking it, sitting back, playing with it a little tiny bit. It's about constantly showing up to do the work. Constantly showing up to do the work. Every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. Devotionally, enthusiastically. And in those moments where we're totally resistant and oh no, I just want a large cheese pizza. (laughs) Right? Still, do it, keep doing it, keep doing it, keep doing it. Because that is when we allow spirit to co-create with us. That is when spirit will take over from there. That's co-creation. So, what if you're having a hard time getting started? Well, there's there's this really great saying in Kundalini Yoga, because these Kriyas are no joke, man. You know, I've said it before, they're no joke. Half hour, hour long meditations that have us, you know, working with our breath, our body postures, having certain locks to activate different hemispheres of our brain, working with our energy channels, our meridians, all so that we can clean out and allow, right? Where was I going with that? I got really into the meditation thing. So, okay, let's say you're stuck and you can't really, you know, get up and go. And then when you do, it's sort of like it doesn't stick, right? Well, there's this saying in Kundalini Yoga. Start and the pressure will be off. That's it. Simply start. And you start begin by thinking to yourself, I'm starting. So put those fingers on those keyboards, write that novel, do whatever it is that you need to do. You know, put your hands on the instruments, put your, put your, you know, on the, on, into, you know, grab the paintbrushes, do what it is that your heart needs to communicate in this world. Otherwise, you know, it's just not going to be as fun, man. You know? Every day, just devotionally do it. Being happy in the work. And every time we veer off, because it's pretty much guaranteed, right? Recommit. Recommit. And here's a little something I also want to share. Um, You know... Normally, if I'm like, you know, because, you know, if I'm balancing quite a bit and, you know, I'm like, oh, and then all of a sudden the thought will pass very gently. Okay, do this. That's the moment. Actually do it. That's when you know that your angels are working with you, reminding you of your soul's purpose. And we could shrug it off and, you know, go ahead and, you know, watch some mindless television or get to work. So that's how you start. All right, party people. Yes. 
So we're at the portion of the show where we are going to be embracing what spirit wants to communicate as far as the energies that are complementing us for this coming week. Before I dive into it, I do want to highlight one thing. This Sunday. What? Yes, this Sunday. The story continues. Frequency is released. For more information on that, visit my Facebook fan page. But this Sunday, the musical story is released. <laughs> right on, man. Totally excited about that. I also invite you to visit my website, triplegoddesspro.me because I do have some tour dates that are coming up. And this is in relation to the psychic tour. Right? So anyways, back to what I was saying pertaining to the album. The power to transform the world. Take the journey into frequency. Look for it on Sunday. Fabulous. So excited. Can't wait to share it with everyone. Beautiful. Okay, so let's look at the energies for the coming week, shall we? Yay. All right. So when asking spirit, what are the energies that we can anticipate for the coming week? We ended up getting the justice card. And so here, it's highlighting that the intent should definitely be established, right? So if you're unclear about where it is that you're supposed to be going, take a moment to yourself to establish what it is that you want to commit yourself to. Because the, the invitation is that the time is here to make your intentions clear and known. And also, justice, right? This is a reminder about the mind. If we are in a constant state of criticism of others, criticism and conflict, within our mental universe, then all that will be had is misery. For those of, but for those, right, who exercise love, compassion, forgiveness, those energies are, are you know, is what's returned to us. So this is really highlighting that this is a period of where we really need to check in with ourselves and go, yes, this is who I am. This is what I'm going to commit myself to. But at the same time, it's also saying, hey, how are you looking at the world? Because that is the energy that you're inviting into your experience. There's a really great saying, um, if you don't see God in all, you don't see God at all. Yes. So do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Think unto others as you want them to think unto you. So there's that. Wow, the universe is very clear about that, right? Gotta love spirit just going, hey, people. <laughs> right, so how do we navigate, right? We ended up getting the nine of discs. And this is highlighting that serenity is achieved by understanding the perfection in the world that we surround ourselves with by our acts of consciousness, right? So in order to truly live in the Garden of Eden, we have to see it. Right thinking creates harmony, okay? And then... Towards the tail end here. What is the tool? How do we start with that? 
Well, we ended up getting the strength card, you guys. And this will be the last card that I read for the evening. And here, it's the universe reminding us that we are the influence. We have the influence. And that it's really about taming the ego. Tame the ego, tame the ego, tame the ego. So with that, you guys, that's the energies that we're going to be looking at next week. So you can anticipate challenges that will highlight how you're thinking. And what gets returned to you is what you're putting out. So with that, you guys, I'll send you guys off. I send us all off, including myself with a beautiful prayer. May the longtime sun shine upon you. All love surround you. And the pure light within you guide your way on sat nam bye loves i'll see you next week love yourself 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 love each other 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 we are one 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 we are we are the divine 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 blessings 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 the master 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 master